our, our target score was uh, we wanted to go 197, just, you know, conversation among the coaches. We wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't do, tell our kids that. We don't want them to be goal-oriented. We want them to be process-oriented. But uh, 197.6 would have been a, a, a great score. The, the shuffle in our lineup and kids coming out, seems like we're taking kids out of the lineup and never really getting them back in. But um, the shuffling of the lineup really, I think, um, affected us a, a little bit. But um, we lost some momentum on vaulting. I, f I felt like we were inconsistent there. The, the landings, the kids were searching for landings. And, uh, you know, if you don't stick your vault, you're not going to get a good score. But uh, went to bars and um, really showed a lot of polish, a lot of uh, complete positions and stuck landings. So I, I think the preparation that we're doing in the gym is, is, is targeted for where we are right now in the season and, and hitting routines in competition. Uh, took that momentum to balance beam, and we had, I think, like 10 season best tonight throughout the meet. Uh, balance beam, I, I felt like Bridget Dean was absolutely beautiful on the balance beam. Um, Sammy Durani held her spot in the lineup. Um, there was a little discrepancy in the two scores, but having Alona in there, we, we substituted Kaya Johnson for Alona this weekend. Kaya's uh, ankle was bothering a little bit, her Achilles on her good, good leg. So we opted to do just as little with her as we possibly could. So um, she was out of beam and Alona was in. She did a, a good job. It's a new dismount for her. She um, is coming back from an Achilles tendon injury. So we really watered down that dismount. It's a new one. So I think as we move forward, that, that routine is going to be extremely uh, good for us. Kennedy Edney, best beam routine I've seen her do in a long time. And then uh, finished that lineup with Reagan Campbell, who was just absolutely beautiful on the balance beam, and uh, I, I felt like was was just knocking on the door of a ten. Um, on floor exercise, Ruby Ruby's routine was as good as we've seen her do, um, and you know the the leadership that she's giving us and the consistency in her performance is is really um, paying off because it's one of the solid solid spots in our lineup. Um, these two seniors are, are really giving us a hundred percent, and um, you know they really deserve the stick crown. Um, just for leadership and the, the courage that they're displaying and what they're giving to this team week in and week out. Um, Christina Desiderio in the lineup and did a, a, a great job. A 9-9 on that routine is beautiful. She stuck a double layout um, in her first, first tumbling pass, um, which I think was a real statement. And, you know, she usually begins to do her best gymnastics at this point in the season. Um, Courtney Goodrich, I've, I've got to give her, I've got to give her a, a shout out. It's a walk on, first time in the lineup, and um, she really put so much into the first two passes, so much into the leap combination, setting up her last tumbling pass that she she just ran out of gas. And uh, but I think that having her ready at at this point in time, because we didn't realize that we were not going to be able to to use. Um, Kaya until later in the week. So being able for having Courtney ready, I think, is a real plus for us, and that routine's only going to get better. Um, and she will get more experience. She will see more competition. So um, Reagan Campbell, that was, I think, the unfortunate performance of the of the meet because she was just beautiful in her first two passes, and she's the best leaper on the team. And uh, she just lost her rotation in the last uh, layout in her two salto combination. So. Um, Hopefully she didn't hurt herself. Her back was a little bit sore when she finished. So, you know, we'll see how that progresses through the weekend. But Kennedy Adney, um, she brought the house down with a, a beautiful floor exercise performance that could have easily, easily um, been a little bit higher than it was. But uh, the fact that we had 10 season highs this year shows that this team's moving in a very forward direction. That was a long opening statement. Yeah. No, if Kai, if Kaya, if Kaya Johnson would have been a hundred percent, she would have been, you know, she would have been four events, and then we didn't realize that Kai Rivers was, she's got a viral infection. She was has been throwing up for two days, so um, we didn't realize that we were not going to have her in the vaulting lineup, which really, you know, changed the dynamics of that event a lot. Um, and then she also does bars, so um, the we've got now one 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 person of depth. We had seven in the bar lineup, and then not having Kai. 
Kaya on balance beam, it gave us the opportunity. It, it forced us to get Alona in there, and um, she's a beautiful beam worker. She's got international style, and her difficulty level is pretty high. So, um, you know, she hasn't really done balance beam for a year. So, getting her back up there tonight was was big, especially if we have to use her on the on the big stages at, moving forward. Um, it was huge, and but you know the difference is you know the the kids the, Jay holds their feet to the fire every single day on handstand positions, locked out positions, body shape, and landings, and uh, you know it's it's day in and day out um, the same message, consistent message, and uh, that that showed tonight. Yeah, they look great, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know about Olivia. Um, they told us today something about Sarah's high ankle sprain and, you know, maybe not get her back. I, so I, I really don't know. I haven't talked to the doctor. So um, we'll, we'll see what the doctor says. I, I, really, I really don't know, you know. I, but you're right. She's jumping up and down pretty good. <laughs> She's got a lot of um, a lot of experience, though, for, for for her youth, and you know, having spent her collegiate years at, not as a competitor, but as a kind of a manager, a student assistant um, in a very very good program. And she comes from her pedigree as an age grouper. She grew up in the same gym that Kai Rivers grew up in. So a lot of great technique, a lot of hard work, a lot of grind, and uh, I think that she will bring that same culture to. Uh, Arkansas. Yeah. Uh-huh. Are you hopeful at some point in getting the lineup in there that you really want to I'm afraid to hope for it. You know, I really am afraid to hope for it because every, every time we lose somebody in the lineup, we don't seem to get them back and we don't seem to. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to take my blows, take my punches, and see where this brings us continue to try to get people ready to compete on a week-to-week -week basis. Is this, the, uh, is this sort of a challenge for you in a way that you, you've been doing this a long, long time? But have you experienced something this way? No, no. This is, this is kind of unique. This is something that, that, that we as a coaching staff, we haven't had to do it since this staff has been together. And uh, I don't know if Jay has had this experience in, in his other, other location. But um, – you know, when, when you're given lemons, you got to make lemonade, and that's, that's what we're trying to do on a weekly basis.